So we are releasing chapter four. Chapter four usually spans a couple of different making holidays and types of making activities, we'll say. So typically we do have some kind of festive stuff in there because it does come out in October. And then we also have some kind of everyday, especially as we head into the new year, we have some stuff that'll work for that transition period of time. And then we also cover Valentine's Day because of when we release, we want to make sure that you're able to start working on Valentine's as soon as you want to in January. So I'm going to go through every single SKU that's coming out. There's some really beautiful things. Um, and I've got a few projects to share with you, but I will be switching to my overhead camera so I can go through each SKU individually. And I'm going to just do that real quick. Okay. So I'm going to go through these one by one and I'm going to start with the holiday stuff because that's probably the making season everyone will be in when chapter four releases. Um, so the first SKU is a thin lit die set from Olivia Rose. It's called House. Um, as And the reason I think it's called House is because I genuinely believe that the main feature of this, um, this die could be used year round for a new home. Um, and you could do a cute little Easter scene. You could do, um, a Halloween scene, a Thanksgiving scene. I, I think that because these elements layer onto the actual die and the thinlets are all separate that you could customize this however you want it. I, of course, stuck with, um, you can go with different color schemes as well. So on this one, I went a little bit more bright in colors. And on this, I went a little bit more traditional in color. So it really is a nice customizable die that allows you the chance to even do it different colored houses. It doesn't have to be like a gingerbread style house. It could be a regular house and you don't have to make this look like snow. You can make it look like a regular scalloped roof. So there really is a lot of room for this one to work year round. And these trees, the snow is optional. Um, the snowman you can, you know, do with or without depending on what you're doing. But I really, I'm going to actually try to turn this into many, as many different types of houses as I possibly can. That, I think that's my one of my favorites that we've got coming out. The next one is a framelit with stamp set and this one is called um, Desserts. It's got something with desserts. I cannot remember the, the name for the life of me for some reason. But it's desserts. <laughs> I'll give you the SKU number. Um, it's 665-471. And so it is a stamp and framelit set. So, or I should say framelits with stamps. So they don't necessarily line up per se, but what's nice about it is that you can create the, the framelits um, with these cute little cocos and cupcakes and this um, gingerbread and donut. But what's nice about it is that you also have these stamps that correspond with um, with each of the dies if you wanted to add a little bit more to it. So there's sprinkles for on top of the cupcake. There's sprinkles for on top of the donut. There's, um, there's the candy cane stripes. So there is a lot of room for kind of customizing your own way with this. But I also wanted to point out that they do work with our smallest dimensional domes. Um, these domes are, I believe they're an inch, yeah, an inch and a half, and they do fit around these perfectly. So you can create your own little shaker card um, with these particular dies. Okay. Next one is another, oh, and I have a little project for that one. I almost forgot. So I made a little, when I first saw the lollipops, um, it made me think of the Wizard of Oz and the lollipop kids. So um, I went ahead and did a lollipop themed card. And so I went with darker colors, but you can obviously do very bright and very cheery. I wanted to do something that kind of matched this right here. So that's why I went a little bit darker, but um, you can stamp on top of this and make your own little sentiments with the sweet season, or you can turn them into lollipops. So those, um, the circle that comes with this is what you build everything on. So there is one main circle that works for all of them. Okay, the next one is another framelit with stamps. And this one um, is falling apart. Give me just one second. Okay, so this is Animal Frame. And 
This one is 665470. And what's cool about this one is it creates a really unique um, aperture scene. So you cut the aperture and then you can build out the scene behind however you want. But what's really nice is that there are these layering stamps that allow you to add a little bit of extra, um, not dimension, a little extra texture we'll say. So you can have like a scalloped tree, not a scalloped tree, a dash tree or a regular um, kind of spined tree. There's this stamp that goes around the edges of the scene to give it a little bit more of a festive feel. You've got stars for the night sky and then there are all these really great little designs that go on the rabbit and the deer and even the little bird. So you can actually take it and it looks really nice on white and having um, like kind of a bright background but you can also just do like traditional holiday colors with reds and greens and black and gray and things like that. So I actually use some of our pattern paper for the background to create the effect of snow falling from the sky and then used a little bit, it's hard to tell in the camera, but there is glitter on top of these trees right here. So I used some of our new white glitter in the chapter three release um, just to give it a little bit of bling, which you can see in person, but not necessarily on camera sometimes. There, I think you can kind of see it there. But this is a really great um, one. I love the idea that you you don't even necessarily have to use the dies that come in this and that you can just use the aperture part right here because it creates a really beautiful opening and then you could actually bulk that out with whatever um, dies or stamps you have in your collection and create whatever scene you want. The next one is a switchlets and if you aren't familiar with switchlets essentially they are an embossing folder that cuts at the same time. But what happens is the emboss the embossing stays the same in the folder, but what you can do is you can switch out the die inside to create unique different looks. So for example, this one, the three embossing um, the snowflake, the holly and the ribbon are or the bow I should say, they are in the embossing folder. And then what you can do is you can select they get a, either a scalloped edge like this, or they get just a regular plain circle, or they get a seal effect. So you get to pick which way they get cut out. That's why we call it switchlets, because they switch the dies out. So you can decide, they're interchangeable dies, you can decide between three different shapes on each of the different um, embossing features. So you can cut and emboss in one step and it's really great. These are perfectly sized to fit on your envelopes for the holidays. So you can fake a wax seal if you wanted to and put these on your holiday um, your holiday cards. And if you wanted to, because they are embossing, you could put a little bit of our luster wax um, in gold, silver, or rose gold on top just to bring out that design a little bit more, but also to give it a little bit of an antique effect. Okay, the next one is a thinlet with a textured impression. So this one is called Cozy Bear, which I just love this one. Um, so essentially this comes as an like a, a textured impression, so like 2D embossing folder, and you get the snowflake background with the bear on it. Now this bear with all the color and everything, that's a separate thinlet set. So you can just use the embossing folder with the bear and leave that as is, or you can cut out the bear and put it on top of the embossed bear, or you can just use the bear by itself. So a really cute little card front with a couple of different options, and I just wanna, I'm gonna just peel this away a little bit so you can see what I mean. So you can see underneath, there's the same bear, but embossed onto um, the background with the folder. So you can use it in conjunction with the folder, or you can use the bear separately altogether. Okay, the next one is a Bigs die by Kath Breen, and it is called Christmas Ornaments, and for obvious reasons. Um, these are cute little stuffed ornaments that Pete made. So it comes with a Christmas tree, a star, and a candy cane. So you can absolutely do felt, um, cut felt with Bigs. This is a Big L die, so it'll fit through all of your Big Shot machines. Um, it is 
great to use for the holidays, especially if you're going to make ornaments because with big stars you can cut from fabric, you can cut from mat board, chipboard, um, you can cut through multiple layers of fabric and multiple layers of felt. So if you're doing um, any kind of like mixed media, we have these stars that someone on our team in the Europe office made um, and they used chipboard, painted it, put some metallic effect and then put a little string on top. So you can create your own customized ornaments for your tree. Um, I think these would be great with little projects for kids if you want to do like an advent calendar with them or if you wanted to create little Christmas toys for them to play with but also just really fun for decorations in general and I think the star shape and the tree shape are really great year round. You could use those um, whenever you feel like. Okay, the next um, die is a thinlets die by Kath Breen called Woodland Lantern. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a woodland lantern. <laughs> What's cool about this one is the lantern itself is its own um, its own shape. And then you get these three different fallen pieces that you can put in to create and customize your lantern. So if you wanted to, your lantern could have two different sides, three different sides, four different sides, whatever you felt like. You can change it up. Um, and you can also put a little light inside obviously because it's paper you'd want to use a fake light <laughs> um, and turn them into little lanterns to go on your mantles or on your tables or string them along and create like your own little string of lights with these lanterns but really beautiful for the holidays obviously you can do them in whatever colors your house might be in you can also do mixed media on them Josh did this one with um, some craft paper and they stamped it and he did some dry brush paint over it it looks like. So you can really get fancy with them or you can just do them out of plain cardstock and add some vellum behind to create a little bit of a, a soft lighting effect if you are to put a little tea light inside of it. Now for Big's dies, this next one is by Lisa Jones and it's called Seasonal Florals 3D. And they come with two, it comes with two different petal shapes and a leaf and then two different sizes of like a flower center. So you can actually combine them and mix them together, the different leaf shapes, or you can make them into two separate flowers with different sizes. So this is the larger leaf with the larger and the smaller flower center. And then this is the smaller flower with the small flower center and then the leaves. So it's really nice. They kind of look like poinsettias, but they don't necessarily have to be. So it's a great um, floral that you can use for your fall tablescapes or for winter or even into spring and summer, I think. And because it's a big sty, as you can tell, I cut, we had this cut out of Festa felt. So you can cut from felt. Um, with this particular die, you can also cut from cray paper and cardstock as always. Okay, the next big sty is also from Lisa Jones and it's called Pine Tree. Now this one, um, you can kind of, all of these pieces are separate. I just wanted to show this because on the die itself, um, the packaging, they're shown as one thing, but they are three separate pieces. So you can actually cut this tree shape multiple times if you wanted to and turn it into a dimensional tree just by folding it in half and folding all of them in half, let's say that you cut and then gluing them to each other, you can actually make these into really beautiful 3D trees for the holidays or every day, um, depending on what color you use. And then because they are a big style, you can cut them from a variety of surfaces and make your holiday making all over the place um, dimensional. So then the next one I'm gonna go through it's kind of um, a transition from the holidays into every day. So I'm going to go through a couple dies and I'm going to show you how I used them all together on a project. So this one is called Merry Motifs. It's a framelit with stamp set and um, it's obviously just traditional icons for the holidays. So you've got a Christmas tree, a mug of hot cocoa we'll say. This looks like a little star cookie and a peppermint. Um, candy cane. So that one's your typical stamp and then you cut out around it. 
Then transitioning into kind of every day, we've got Bold Flowers by Olivia Rose. So these two are both by Olivia Rose. And what I love about this one is that you get some really cool large size and small size um, florals and some different botanical foliage. But a lot of these are actually dimensional. So I'm just going to pull this in. So this actually cuts so you can pull these leaves, or not pet leaves, petals up. These have some really nice cut detailing in them. Um, these have different layering elements on them. So with your paper sculpting kit, you can actually go and do a lot with those. What matches up with those in style and design, also by Olivia Rose, is the bold floral, uh, yeah, bold floral edges. And what's nice about these is, again, they are similar stylistically to the bold flowers, so you can use them together. But then they also have that dimensional feature to them as well. So you can use these. are great for cards along the edges or even on scrapbook pages, and then I'm going to show you how I use that on a scrapbook page in just a minute. The next one um, I love is called Stylized Alphabet, and this is by Lisa Jones, and it's just a great sized alphabet, and you're going to see it in a couple projects here in just a minute. Um, it stylistically is really clean and modern. Um, they're about an inch tall, I'd say, a little over an inch or about an inch, and um, you get all of these letters come individually, so you can kind of customize them. works great with our sticky grid sheets if you wanted to create your own um, customized sentiment. So that, that's what I love about that particular die set is you can create whatever you want out of it. And then um, we have a stamp set for journaling from Lisa Jones. And this one is SKU 665498. And you've got, these are perfect for journals. So you've got all the months of the year. You've got this little um, kind of bracketed journaling hub, we'll say, or journaling feature. And you could put to do in here. You could also put the month in there. I don't know if they'll all fit, but you could put notes or to do, and then you can write it down. Um, you've got some really pretty foliage elements, and then you've also got the days of the week and the numbers. So just great for overall journaling. But I've used all of those, for the most part, on this little scrapbook page. I think you can see all of it. I'll pull it down a little bit. So I've got the stylized alphabet down here. I've got the bold floral edges and I use those to go around the photo just to create a fun little feature around the photo. I've got the Mary motifs which I have stamped and I've embossed with silver embossing powder and then I've colored in the little ornaments. I've used the stamp, the journaling stamps right here um, to note the month and to create this cool little holly things in a wreath shape. And then I actually used another die set for the flowers and the foliage that I'm going to show in just a minute um, from Layered Labels. So you can mix and match your die sets together and make them just really kind of come together even though technically speaking those were festive and everyday just by changing out the colors and by using them together I've been able to make them into a festive little scrapbook page. Okay, now I'm going to move into kind of more everyday stuff. We're halfway there. So the first one for more everyday is the Celestial Box Card, and this is from Olivia Rose. Um, astronomy, like astrology, all of that is very, um, is very trendy right now, and you'll see a lot of it uh, in, I've seen a lot of it on Etsy and blogs and Pinterest. And so we've got this little celestial card box. It does flatten, so you can send it in the mail nice and flat, and then it pops back up. Um, it's just got a couple of little things in between so that you can build out these scenes. If you wanted to, you could just use the box by itself. Um, it comes with the box shape, and the aperture is one that you fit into it, but you could easily put a circle into the box and um, create your own little scene that way as well. Next one is Card Rainbow Fold Along by Jen Long. Um, I think after the last year, the rainbow has come to symbolize a lot of things like hope. And so we wanted to celebrate the hope of a new year and everything that we have going on. And so Jen has created this really cute um, rainbow fold along card. I'm obsessed with rainbows and she knows that. <laughs> so I was 
particularly excited about this die set and what I love about it is that each of the rainbow strands is a, its own separate die so you can choose whatever color scheme you want for a rainbow maybe you want to do metallics monochromatics a traditional rainbow you get to decide and as always with um, any fold along we'll probably have a tutorial and there's also instructions on how to create them on the packaging as well the next one is from Kath Breen, and it is box envelope number two. I am going to be doing a video on this to explain how um, it's put together and how you can kind of customize it throughout the year. What's great about this is it is a little envelope box, so you can, um, you can actually give it as a gift, and you could fit in a gift card into it or you can fit in a little piece of jewelry or money or some treats. Um, you can decorate it as every day if you wanted to, it just depends on the colors that you select. And these little tabs right here inside are what allow you to hold the gift card in place. Those are optional, you do not have to put them in there. But what's great about this is that you can actually, just by changing out the colors, you could turn this into um, a really great Christmas gift as well. So you can also use the switchlet seals they are, that I showed you earlier. They are sized and they will fit perfectly on here if you want to use that to close them. So be on the lookout for a tutorial on how to assemble and I've got another, um, another box I will be showing you how to make on that tutorial. Then the last one I want to show you um, just from this pile is called Layered Labels. And this one's by Jess Scott. I think this might be one of my favorites. Next to the house, I feel like this is the one I'm gonna use quite a bit because the house I feel like you can use every day, but so can these. So I'm always looking for really nice um, label shapes. And what I like about these is that they have some of these detailed markings. So you can use them from your card fronts. And then you've got just some nice traditional looking florals and foliage. And I am a huge flower fan, so anything like this that is just perfect, like your nested circles, your nested squares, I feel like nested label shapes or just decorative label shapes is something that you're going to use fairly often. So this is a great thing to have in your stash. Now I'm going to move on to some more everyday kind of stuff. This next one is really fun. It's from Lisa Jones. It's called the Rounded Picture Frames. And what's cool about these is you get a thin lips die set that has this rounded kind of aperture in it. And what it is sized for to do is that you will fit our dimensional dome, shaker domes, um, the rounded square. So you can do what I did and cut out this foliage one and place it around and there's thin lip pieces inside that you can um, decorate the frame with. Or there's another one that's a little bit more simplistic that you can um, that you can put like someone's picture inside of, which I thought would be really cute. Or you can actually just use the pieces and create your own wreath with the foliage and the florals that are in it. But it is sized to work with the rounded square shaker domes. This next one is a card base called the Lace Card Base by Olivia Rose. And what's great about this one, and Debbie Farinella will be doing a tutorial on this, is that the sentiment is interchangeable. Also, the card base, you can just have as the card base. You don't have to have this cutout aperture. Um, it does come with four different sentiments. So you get well done, with love, thanks, and celebrate. So they do change out on here. Um, there's a way they kind of like drop in right here and then you can run it through the machine so you can change it out. Like I said, we will have tutorials on how these work. Um, but I just wanted to show you kind of an everyday card that you can get and decorate and it's beautiful because you can stand it up vertically or you can have it sit horizontally. Now I'm going to get into kind of some like nature and um, animals. So the first one up is Mystical Nature by Jenna Rushforth. And like I was saying earlier, the, that trend of kind of mystical astrology, all of that is in right now. So she has taken this jaguar and owl and um, 
combine them with a crescent moon and they've got just the most stunning little details on them. It's really kind of hard to tell in this light, but even the owl has all of these debossed portions and then you can actually go in and add in all of those polka dots on both of them. So just really fun little um, card front feature for that. The next one is great for kind of fall. It's called Winter Nature, but what I love about this one, this one's by Olivia Rose, um, it has like fall foliage elements. So you've got your mushrooms, your acorns, your different types of leaves. Um, Debbie Farinella made these, and I just loved the different colors that she took with this. So she did very like traditional fall tones. Um, so you've got lots of berries and plums and um, darker olive tones, but just really pretty. And it just shows you how different you can make that die set look just by changing out all the different colors. So perfect for little, um, they're sized, I think they would be great on uh, place cards at like a holiday table. Next one is a little bit, um, some more animals. This one's called Woodland Nature and it's by Lisa Jones. And we know that woodland nature for baby showers and um, nurseries and all that is really, really popular. So we've got a little fox and a bunny, a deer, a raccoon, some more mushrooms, a little patch of grass and a leaf foliage. But all of these are just super sweet, little itty bitty woodland animals, perfect for a little nursery decor or um, to decorate with for a baby shower. This next one, I we cannot find the one that I put together, which I'm so sad because it's got um, quite a, like lovely details on it. But this one's called Animal Alphabet. And this is by, by and far probably one of the most fun die sets I've ever put together. It's by Lisa Jones. Um, if you're going to attempt this, give yourself some time. Don't get frustrated. Um, I thought this whole alphabet would be really cute framed in a baby's nursery, but you could also just individually take each letter because each of these um, letters is separate and they, each of the layering pieces is on each letter. So it takes all the guesswork out of it for you. So you could make little itty bitty cards with just each letter with the name start of someone's name. Um, so it's a really, it's definitely a time time investment but um, adhesive sheets and tweezers are going to be your best friend and it actually was a lot of fun. I just po popped on a movie and I put these all together and it was so fun to watch them all come together. Individually they're not that difficult to assemble but if you're going to tackle the whole alphabet give yourself some time. Now for Big's Flowers this next one is the Protea. Um, and it's by Olivia Rose, and we will be doing a tutorial on how to assemble this, so be on the lookout for that video to come in the next little bit. Um, but these are a really, really popular flower. In fact, my best friend had this in her wedding bouquet. Um, and they're pretty, they're fairly simple to put together. You get a couple different leaves, and it's all about just how you shape it and to make it look like a real protea. I hope I'm saying that right. I don't feel like I am. <laughs> Then we've got another big die by Kath Breen, and this one's called Mini Card and Envelope Set. And what's great about this one is that you get these um, kind of interchangeable either butterfly or heart that you want to do. And we've got one here, um, and, and Debbie Farinella is going to be doing a tutorial on this. And basically they come together in the middle, and there's little... It's hard to show on here, but there's little crevices right here that, that cut in, and you pull them together. These ones are glued down, so it's a little bit hard to do it on there, but we've got one that's closed right here, so you can see that they attach together, and then they close. So cute little cards. You can put a little sentiment inside, stick them in a, um, a bouquet of flowers or on a little gift that you might have. For 3D embossing, we've got two that are coming out. This one's called Interface. Um, it is, I've got, it's kind of this cool geometric design. This one's by um, Georgie Evans. And it's really got just like fun geometrics. Kind of reminds me a little bit of maybe like a computer 
like a little bit of a computerized thing, which might make sense why it's called interface. But you can see out of um, metallics how stunning that design pops out too. So that's one of our 3D um, texture folders that's going to be coming out. The other one is called Swiss cheese. And this one is, as you can imagine, it's Swiss cheese. If you have a little mouse die, oh my goodness, especially from Chapter 2, there was a cute little mouse stamp set in Chapter 2 that this would work perfectly with. Um, I love cheese. <laughs> I know a lot of people do. So this would might be really cute to put on like an imitation for you're having charcuterie. Or um, like I said, if you have something like a little mouse party that you might be having. So just a really cute little um, embossing folder. Now let's get in to Valentine's. So I've got a couple here. I'm just getting them out. Um, we have a lot of different variety of stuff, actually, I thought. So this first one is called Mini Lovebirds, and it's a thin lens, um set by Lisa Jones. Now, what's unique about Lovebirds is that it creates like a bunch of different little scenes. So you, it comes with the circle, two different size circles. It comes with this heart wreath, and then you get all these little layering elements on top of the heart wreath and for the birds. Now, what's cool about this is that our largest dome um, fits around this one, and then our two-inch dome fits around this one. I believe it's two, the two-inch one. Let me make sure. Yeah, the three and a half inch dome for this one. And then I'm pretty sure that's the two inch one. Um, don't quote me on that. It might be the two and a half, but I'm pretty sure it's the two inch. But what's cool about it is that you can just create projects where you've used the individual elements. So this one uses the heart wreath and the love sentiment in it. Or you can intermix it with um, another one. So they, this one, it's just used the circle and the hearts and the bird, but then this is from the layered label set. So again, all of our die sets really look at how you can mix and match them um, because that's two different die sets mixed and matched together. And then I did create one with the shaker dome just so you can see how the heart and the birds and everything fit inside um, of our largest three and a half inch dome. Okay, so the next one, Actually, I got that wrong now that I'm looking at this next one. Um, I'm trying to find, there it is. So this next one is a thin lit set. It's called the Floral Geo Heart Frame. And that was actually the foliage elements on, they look so similar to the ones on the layered label. Um, these elements are from this die set. So it's a mix and match of these two. Although you could easily use the layered labels as well. So with this one, you get a really beautiful geometric heart, which obviously looks stunning when you cut it out of metallics. Um, and then you get some really nice flowers that have layering elements on them and then some foliage botanical pieces. Now, this is one that I love because it sizes really well to work with our new cards and envelope sets. So you can have this sit horizontal or vertical. Um, and I love, my, one of my favorite things to do is just to build up um, dimensional floral scenes. So I've used the stylized alphabet here for the love and then I've just kept the heart itself out of white and when you cut this you get not only the the ouch like the frame but you also get this inner piece that cuts. So you can lay it into each other or you can keep them separate. So you can kind of create your own unique look with that heart whether you want it to just be the frame or you want the inner piece to sit in it as well. So that's entirely up to you how you want that to look but I thought that one is really great not only for Valentine's Day but even if you're just for Mother's Day or hearts are very universal and so are flowers so you could send it for a friend, for a, sh a baby shower, a bridal shower. It's really um, not just exclusive to Valentine's Day. Okay, this next one is a Bigs die called Heart Pocket by Kath Breen. And it is, it looks a lot bigger on the packaging than it is in person. These are really cute little pockets that you can put a little note inside or you could slip a little treat in for um, Valentine's Day. If you've got kids that are um, going to be doing little Valentine's at school, this is something really cute. It's not that difficult to put together, um, but we will be doing tutorials on all of this as well. Then we've got a Thin Lips die set called Box Heart and Star Card by Kath Breen. 
And these ones, you can make both of these. Um, so you can do a star or you can do a heart. And uh, Debbie Farinella is going to be doing a really fun um, live. I can't remember if she's going to do a live or a blog on this. But there is going to be some content. And she is actually going to show you how to make these two projects right here. So if you're curious what she did, you'll see it in that. But it is a dimensional card. So if you were to slip this off, it pops open and you can put confetti inside. You can put a little note and then you would have it sit back down and you can put a little ribbon around it to keep it closed. Um, so you don't have to put the ribbon around. It's just a really good idea, especially if you are going to put something inside that um, might be valuable. You could probably fit in a little necklace if you wanted to um, or a pair of earrings and still make it three dimensional like that. And last but certainly not least is Layered Hearts by Jess Scott. Now, this one's a really unique set. I think when people look at this, they're like, oh, it's just paper that you layer, which is really pretty. You can make beautiful card front panels with it. You get to customize. There's three different panels, so it comes with an upper and a lower or a mid layer, and then you get a solid background. So that's what allows you to be able to create three distinct colors if you wanted to. But you could also layer them and, you know, ink over them and ink your backgrounds, or you could actually use them as a stencil. So you could take the dimensional paste or the expand paste and cut one of these um, hearts out of paper or some type of surface where you can create um, a stencil. And then just wipe that across with our texture tool and you can create a really cool effect using all that too. But beautiful as a card front, but there is a lot more to it um, technique wise that you can do than just layering them with paper. Okay, so that is our chapter four release. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I know I talked a lot, but I wanted you to have a little bit of an understanding of what everything is and how they all work together and what other products they work really well with. I would love to know what was your favorite, so be sure to pop that in the comments below. And if you have any questions about any of the stuff I showed today, please let us know. We'll be happy to answer in the comments. Um, but until then, if once you get chapter four and you start making with it, be sure to tag us um, with what you make with hashtag my making story. And these will be are available, I should say, not will be. They are going to be available on sizzix.com and sizzix.co.uk. And that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed.